Just spam that number two button. That's how you win. Number one button also good, but number two button better. But my healing power is incredible now compared to the other runs. Maybe I can use this fighter guy that I have been neglecting thus far going for the damage dealer. This one more of a tank. He's got a shield there. Maybe I can rock him because I can actually keep him alive now. And the lesser minions are reaping the benefit as well. Doing less resurrecting. Interesting. I'm still feeling confident. Look at the shards I'm getting. Shards are going up. We're playing. The game has begun now. The tank takes a lot of damage, though. It takes a surprising amount of damage. Let's get that heal up preemptively. Look. Look at that. And now we're just kind of coasting. We're able to mitigate some of that damage. Got no spells. I really don't like going into melee with this setup. But these spells are pretty good. I could just kind of poke. Get out of here. I see you. I mean, I didn't see you until you were right next to me, but I see you now. Oh, my army. I was a little late on these reses. Movement speed, really strong. Oh, no. All right, get another tank up. Movement speed, very strong for just kind of kiting around. And maybe that's why I'm taking so much damage as my movement speed is too low. I've basically neglected it to this point. Oh. Get out of there. I, I don't like to fight unless I have my heals up. Because you just take so much incoming damage when you get hit. feel like you should be able to jump in this game. I feel like even if it didn't allow you to avoid anything, it would just be fun to jump around. It's, it's part of the game, right? Right, we're coasting. I think we're in good shape. I'm going to stay back for a few seconds. Get my heal out. I'd like to get another AoE heal out because all my lesser minions are going to die. Yep, they're... There they're going. But I do save some. And I think I'm in good shape. This is probably one of the last waves. Yeah, last wave. All right, onward. So not so bad. This setup's working pretty well. Tank minion, a lot of AoE healing. Did pick up an extra minion because I had leveled up. Contains a shrine that allows you to increase the level of your minions. And if you look towards the upper right, you can actually see that you get a preview of which minion. So I want to go this way for the tank minion. Oh boy. Lots of enemies preemptively get that up. The seed, appropriately named Seed of Life, that spell is wonderful. That has really been a game changer here. And makes everything a lot smoother. Surely I can just wreck this guy before he casts again. Try to keep that seed of life up whenever it comes back off of the cooldown. Dodge that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe spells would go well with this. Right now I'm still kind of working on the buffing this tank minion. But, you know, as my character or my account levels up rather, I feel like spells would work with this setup. And cooldown reduction, honestly, looking better and better by each playthrough. So, I will try to pick up probably movement speed, cooldown reduction, kind of going that route opposite of where I kind of originally planned. Healing is strong. We're doing it. This is This room is easier than the last. I do wish that I could attack with the other staff, but I understand why you can't. 
Wow, that that room was cake. Super easy. All right. Tank monsters gain two levels. Let's do it. Sticking with it. Guy is a beast at this point. What does my melee attack hit for? 50? It's really roughly the same damage as my spells. And the spells are obviously much safer and then have a cooldown, but... Got to heal off barely. Massive, and now I can do another heal. So I really, I think I'm going cooldown reduction. I think I have settled on going for cooldown reduction first. That seems like the best stat to have. And another room, just no problem. You can control five additional lesser minions, but they have 40% less health. Don't think I want to go for that. They're already a little squishy. Lesser minions heal you for 20% of the damage they inflict. That sounds really good. And I don't think I have a bleeding effect yet. There are some you can get through your talent tree. And this would be really, really strong if I had a bleed. That seems really effective. But I'm going to go for the heal because I don't have that consistent bleed. We are doing it. So we got some shards now, right? 640. Sanctuary. Seed of Hope plus three gains three levels and the following bonuses. Done. Because I love that spell. I cannot even reduce my fatigue. We're learning. We're, we're becoming educated and getting better at the game, perhaps. Oh, man. All right. Buff my spells. Grant me boons. Promotes a greater monster to an elite version. I think I want to go for an elite version. Let's go over here. Can I actually get there? I don't know because I only have 139 health at this point. Surely I will need to... Clear that fatigue at the next sanctuary shrine. But plus three levels on that Seed of Hope is amazing because the spell itself is just so incredible. Chopping everything down without a care. How the times have changed. I don't even blink anymore. Look at that. Just getting healed from a distance. Let's get some more cannon fodder up. Heal. I just missed that guy. I, I literally missed him and he was standing still. No! No! My tank! Is there another tank? This is the damage dealer, but I gotta get something up. Oh boy, it went down as well. Let's get this damage dealer up. Can we even survive without the tank? We're built around the tank. This. It's an unforeseen end to an otherwise good run. But it's not over. I'm just close to dying, but it's not over. We could pull this off. Oh, that's a tank. All right. All right, we can do this. We can recover. I just need to get this guy dead. And then we can res him up. I also need to stay alive. So, could be problematic, but let's try it. Oh, he's going to kill my guy. No. Am I faster? I'm faster than that guy. All right. I can just kite for a bit. What else can I do here? I can try to res. Oh, my. Oh, that's a, that's a tank. That's a tank. Give him a seed. Quick, give him a seed. Got him. I'm still running. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do this. This might happen. Keep him healed. I do not have much. What is... No, 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 no! Oh, there's another one I can res. It's like when I buffed mine, the uh, enemies got stronger or something. It's like buffing my tank made the enemy tank stronger. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. He's got a whirlwind. 
All right, I, I still have this. Nice. All right. Oh my gosh. He's so low. Just finish him. All right. Like my guy wasn't hitting him. Oh no. Oh boy. No. No! Come on. Swift slice. Slice forward at high speed, slicing through enemies, dealing physical damage, and applying bleed and slow. Sounds really good. Potential to reset its cooldown when killing a greater monster as well. Root target enemy greater monster. It's a pulse that grants regrowth to every ally. 3% of maximum life over 6 seconds. Not a tremendous amount, but it does stack. Oh, you can get free resets. Awesome. So, let's go after this cooldown reduction. And perhaps I still want to go up that way, but... 20% cooldown reduction right here in these nodes. And I still think that the minions are kind of the way to go. So, I might just go up for the movement speed into the cooldown reduction. And then I can kind of work down here. As opposed to buffing my own damage. But the life, of course, is nice. Let's buff movement speed, because that allows you to res really easily. My attacks will inflict bleed, and that just means that I can synergize off of that. Both of those are the same, so let's just pick up the CDR. And then I think we just get out of here, right? That's all my talent points right now, but I think from here I will just go down into the other tree. Welcome to Nevermorn's Early Access. Fight dangerous enemies and obtain powerful abilities. Sounds like I'll enjoy it. When you enter a new room, monsters appear and attack you. Take the portal ahead and follow the light path to reach the next room. Leaving the light will lead to a quick death. Thanks for the warning. Travel along the path. Move very quickly. I do like that. This must be an enemy. Use your basic attack to left click. Nice and smooth combat. Use your offensive ability to slay enemies. Oh boy, I can sidestep. Has a cooldown, so let's hit him with another spell. Oh, I can do it while moving, which is what I wanted to test. Perfect. A two-sided magical staff. The purple side is used to slay enemies with offensive spells. The green side is used to raise dead minions. Protect your army and yourself with defensive spells. Switch to the green side to raise the dead minions. That's done by right click. Switch, and now I can raise them. Cool, let's get all of them up. Am I too far? Yeah. Looks like I can have five up in the corner here. Greater monster, always keep an eye. Use dodge, which is space. Interesting. Is there friendly fire, or can I just throw that fireball in there? I'm gonna switch to my other staff. Oh. I should dodge like they warned. If I switch, does it share a cooldown? Greater monsters are the backbone of your army. Must be kept alive. Let's raise them. You can heal your greater monster and yourself by using healing touch. Revive the fighter. Sure thing. Is one must be the healing touch. So what I want to know is can I switch, cast a fireball with my one, and then immediately switch and heal? I, I can. That is pretty cool, and you can track the cooldowns. So really dynamic combat. Very fun already, to tell you the truth. Just uh, gonna heal to be safe because it warned me that I should. I need to get a little bit quicker with that, I think. You can control a limited amount of monsters at the same time. Each monster you raise takes a control slot. Greater monsters have their own control slot category. So there you can see it in the top left. Is there anything worth exploring? It looks pretty empty. Get my red staff, the dark staff back out. Here we go. What's this? Oh boy. Gonna thin the herd here. Get over here. Get healed. Adapt your army composition to your liking. Excellent. Sacrifice the fighter and revive the Arcan Weaver. Okay. 
Sacrifice you. See ya. I actually want the other guy, though. You can take a portal. You have the choice to pick between different paths leading to different kind of rooms. Claim your reward. You need to kill all the enemies in the room. Okay. I'm in. Nuke you. Use my dash or my dodge. And hit it with another fireball. Switch over. See if I can heal anything. This guy looks low. Not sure I actually healed that there, to tell you the truth. Maybe I can only heal the greater one. I have to take a further look. Interact with the shrine to claim my reward. Echoing touch. Healing touch will heal an additional time for 50% of the base healing after four seconds. Healing touch also heals five nearby allies. And chaos bolt also applies five burn. Burn deals 5% of maximum health as fire damage over six seconds and stacks up to 20 times. I have five of these applied then I'm going to be dealing 25% of their health over six seconds. That seems really strong. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Customize your army spells and talents before starting a new run. Okay. This is a much larger skill tree than I was expecting. That is definitely exciting. We'll of course need to get some upgrade points in order to interact with that. Spells, I do like the arc and bolt. That seems pretty fun. And I'm gonna to need to level up. So I'll start with those two spells and nothing for monsters so i'm just gonna have to start the game and start unlocking some of these things for future playthroughs so here we begin okay we can choose a different path and we can kind of go after which upgrades we want i think i want to go with minions so i'm going to focus on leveling those up and maybe going after some of these shards so that i can unlock things for the future playthroughs but i think a lot of people would like to see minions right usually a popular choice so let's go in this direction to head towards that with the bolt can I just raise mid combat awesome so definitely very dynamic combat very much enjoy that that's for kind of a lot of freedom to do whatever you're looking to do and potentially play a little bit better heal that guy in there he took a big hit my dash and I think I'm just gonna stay back and cast a bolt to finish him off Get this guy up portal over here all right let's go towards this minion upgrade nuke this guy I can also take control of this guy as a greater minion kind of think I prefer that because he's ranged and may survive a little better Gotta sacrifice my guy first. Let's heal him and let him tank for a little bit. This is a relatively short range on this uh, reanimate, so you kind of have to get into the mix. I was hoping I could just sit back, raise these things up. Oh, he was almost dead. Wow, that was definitely a step up from before, but that's kind of fun. All right, let's sacrifice this guy. Get out of here. You, nope, that's not what I want. I want you. Maybe you'll stay alive better. Hit that. Support monsters gain two levels. Tank monsters gain two levels. I think we want damage dealer monsters to gain two levels, right? Yeah, surely that's what I just res. I res one of these. Not quite sure what it's called yet, but that's what I res. So let's go ahead and take that. Extra two levels for that one. Really engaging gameplay so far. And actually having a blast playing it, to tell you the truth. What happens if I hit this? Nothing? Okay. Find the portal then. Can I continue to survive? Do I want to sacrifice the bonus I had or receive a random enchantment? I think I want to receive something. So let's go ahead and accept this. You and your minions gain 30% more maximum health but cannot gain barrier. I didn't have any barrier yet, so just a benefit. Focus on that guy right away. That creature looks like it has barrier. Already my guy taking some hits. Greater minion. Gotta look out for him. Seems to be my best friend in this. 
weed out some fodder here. Get out of here. I'm just going to heal him. Heal him early. That's my strategy. Don't let him get low. Ooh, I can res that. Maybe I should experiment with that. Get some variety up here for my lesser minions. Oh boy. My healing touch also heals me for a little bit, so I can kind of try to avoid damage and spam this a little. Just throwing heals wherever I can just to sustain my own life. Goes down before I can heal him. Now at some point here I gotta kill the enemies. Wall dodging. This is getting tough. Taking a tremendous amount of damage every time I get hit. Really need to be more defensive in general. So one playthrough, enough to unlock some new abilities. Bone Shield is going to reduce damage that the greater monster takes and increase the healing received by 100% for 8 seconds. Sounds really effective. Shattering Strike violently smashes in front of you, causing the ground to erupt and damage enemies. Also inflict Shattered. Oh, I also hit level 3 in the first playthrough. Life Blade grants an effect with 3 charges. During the effect, hitting an enemy with a melee attack creates a healing pulse. That would be really strong. And also, it's an AoE healing the allies as well. Oh, it keeps my level here. Alright, let's go ahead and play. And I want to adjust some of these. In this slot, I definitely want to go with the Life Blade. And I may as well take Shattering Strike since there's nothing else damage nodes and you can also hit cooldown reduction up here which seems really strong so I think I'm gonna go up towards those nodes to begin moving pretty quickly through the tree that's just gonna give me 8% life and 8% damage so should be better than before so I can cast that heal on this enemy and you'll see now that I'm able to heal myself so that's really nice Adds a lot of sustain for my character and that has an AOE ability too so that'll be great Hit. See what the range on that is. Pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna put the heal up on this target as well, and then I'm just gonna kind of face tank him. First room very easy. Res up some of these creatures. Need to really put an emphasis on not getting hit myself this run. Take lots of damage in this game. And you need to avoid things as opposed to face tanking. I thought because it was early, maybe I could take a few hits, but that was a mistake. All right. Damage. You and your monsters get 5% damage. That would go well with the talent points I use. You and your minions get increased action speed. You and your minions get 1% reduced damage taken. In terms of percentages, I got to say dealing 5% more damage is probably better than taking 1% less. Not so interested in the action speed at this point. I think I'm going to go for the raw damage, just because it synergizes well with what I already have. I just keep buffing that damage. Well, let's pick up one more guy. Alright, we cleared that one, so now we can make another choice. Spell upgrade. And events to make choices in which you get great rewards. I think I want to upgrade one of my spells, because I kind of like that AoE healing spell. Or at least I want to keep using it to see how effective it is. This game considerably easier with the default bindings if you have a gaming mouse, that's for sure. Because moving with WASD and hitting one at the same time can be a little tricky. But the gaming mouse makes this a lot easier. Well, lost my buddy. I'm just going to resurrect this one then. Get up here. Alright. Let's use R2. That does really cool animation. A little bit more difficult to land for certain, but also can kind of 
pierce enemies in the line. Kind of getting the hang of using the ability there in order to heal my own minions. Increase res speed, really effective in my opinion. I did see that in the talent tree in the green section, and I think maybe I will go some sort of hybrid build at some point eventually, and I will probably go for that res speed, because the ability to res these creatures on the fly is really important. Shattering Strike, that's the line attack I have that pierces. Increased area of effect, that's awesome. Reduce cooldown, increased damage. Life Blade gains one level and also gets reduced cooldown and extra healing. Healing Touch also gets reduced cooldown, extra healing, but the amount of extra healing I get from this Life Blade really has my interest. And that's the ability that I wanted to kind of mess around with, so perfect. Do I want to gain fatigue or get two boons? I would much rather get two boons. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get to pick two out of the three. Or maybe we pick one from here and then one from another set. So I need to make sure I pick the one that I want most in case it's going to give me a new set. Essentially, I can get 5% health, 2% increased action speed, or 3% movement. I'm going to go for health, just stacking health and damage as much as I can. So it looks like I got a new set. Movement speed, reduced damage, or action speed. I will go with this reduced damage at this point. Although movement speed is very tempting as well. Reduce damage, because that's going to also scale on the higher health bolt that I build with the character. Let's try that. We must be fighting. Sure enough, we are. Put this out. Start healing everything, including myself. Oh, I'm getting chunks of healing now. That's amazing. Do I save them just in time? Right, let's try to finish this stuff out. Hopefully there's not another wave. There is. Get a heal out. Res. Debuff for more healing. Another heal. Oh, he had zero health. It literally said zero. Oh, he's dead anyways. Try to dash. Get out of here. Gonna have to bring this one up. Not my first choice, but I don't see how I can get to the other guy. I may just have to fight at ranged. This may, may be what we do here. It's working. Alright, quickly, quickly res in case more's coming. He's taking damage. Heal him. Get up, get up, get up. All right, we completed the room. It gets pretty crazy. Very chaotic. What do we get? Damage dealer monster gains three levels. That's the one I prefer to use. Range monster gains one. And it shows you the type, so that's great. So I think there's actually one here that I can res. All greater monsters gain one level. I'm just going to go for the damage dealer because that's the one I prefer. And right now, I need help. So you, out of here. You, come with me. Okay, I'm a little scared. Why don't you guys go? Let's see. Can we beat another room? Oh boy, whenever I see the red, I just immediately know that enemies are coming. Need to use maybe my two a little bit more? I'm not sure. It's just, it's tough. Everything happens so fast. There's not a lot of feedback. Feedback is either you clear the room or you die. But definitely feels rewarding to see your character get stronger as you continue to play and start off better. Those games always kind of feel nice. The more you play, you unlock more things. Make it a little bit further the next time. I just want to res. Will you guys leave me alone? I just want to res. Oh boy, debuff him. I had better get in there. Heal myself up. feel like I didn't deserve that oh my gosh I think I'm gonna go down here did I not put a debuff on this guy thought I did should have gotten my healing there right can't 
Okay. Can I do? Oh, oh my gosh. Just need to stay back and heal. Res some things. I know something's going to come from behind me. Oh my gosh, I beat it. Let's see what we get. All right, I think I can get more damage per stack of recklessness, but more damage taken. I definitely do not want to take more damage. You and your minions gain 30% more health, but can't gain barrier. I still don't have a source of barrier since I didn't run the bone armor. So this it is. Can't remove the fatigue. Not enough shards at this point. So we just got to go onward. Nothing can be done. Promotes a greater monster to an elite version of it. Elites have special passive abilities. Well, that's tempting because I got the plus three levels. So let's try to unlock that. Are you trying to shoot me? It's rude. Get out of here. Need some more healing. Just get over here so I can heal myself. Oh boy. Definitely need some additional survivability as you get further. The incoming damage seems to stay pretty high. I also think I could utilize this dash more frequently rather than just strafing. Maybe I could like dash to avoid things coming at me uh, because sometimes things are coming from behind and you don't know they're there. Do I go in with that little health? Yes, I do. Get some lesser minions back up. I really need to buff that spell. That second ability is nice with the heal that it has, but you really need a large amount of healing on it for it to feel effective and not like a waste when you go in or less scary even. It's just really, it's so scary going in with that. Gosh. I just want to stay in healing form. That's how much damage I take. Just want to, just always want to be healing if possible. Getting low. 95 health. Can I do anything about it? Getting intense. Did they stop coming? Did we make it? All right. Whew. All right. Um, here we go. Select the greater monster. Confirm. Action speed 10%. Movement speed 15%. Reduce damage 15% or 20% health. Well, this is a caster and it actually has the teleport, so I'm not going to go with that. Reduce damage or health. At this point, I think I just scale the health because I'm also scaling health with some other things. So that will scale better than the reduced damage. Onward. I was kind of hoping that the boon they got was a little bit better than that. Fortunately, it wasn't. Can I heal myself just like this? No. I can't. That's too bad. Because I'm injured. And I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Down to 40. Oh, I got some life back. 60 life. Oh, boy. No! Oh, I saw it too late. Did make it a little bit further. The game, very fun. And I like these somewhat quick playthroughs. So, it looks like 12 minutes on that one. It's fun to kind of get a few runs in. What do we get here? We unlock Seed of Hope. Regenerate 50% of max life during the effect. At the end, release a healing wave for 6% of all healing received. That sounds awesome. Single target buff spell heal over time. Can I cast it on myself? 
It sends forward a slicing wave that passes through enemies and silences them and grants 8% of your life as a barrier. It can also stun them. Problem with the life blade is I gotta get really close. Question is, regenerate 50% of maximum life. Can this apply to myself? It's an AOE radius, but also a single target buff. I don't know, let's just try it. Two more talent points, that'll give us 4% more damage, 4% movement speed, and then I'll be able to unlock some more damage as well. Okay, let's give it a go. Are we good yet? Are we powerful? Is that, that gonna increase the lesser minions too? Increase the level one of your spells. Large quantity of memory shards that can be spent in Sanctuary. I do need memory shards. Let's go for the memory shards. I do definitely need those because I haven't been able to spend any yet. Right, where are you at? I'm ready. This room, not so scary. I am not afraid of the very first room. Okay. Let's get our army going. Get out of here. Oh, I can't even use... I cannot even use the two, so maybe that Seed of Life can only be used on the greater monster. Nonetheless, that could be... Yeah, now I can use it. So it's only going to go on the greater monster. So now I'm going to have a lot of trouble staying alive. Oh. Oh. Do that again. All right. It's almost off cooldown. So Cass... This is why they call it an AOE. After those six seconds of it healing that target, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen that time? Maybe because it was everybody's full? Let's go take some damage. Right, come hit me. Right, cast that on him. He's got the seed buff, I can see it, and it expires and then it heals everything. That is amazing. Glad I changed that. That allows me to stay back, unless it is safe to actually go forward. But I could also take out the original healing touch and run the other spell as well. So there's some options here. Oh, I get six slots now too. My army is growing. I am more confident. I can feel more confident. Hey, we heal. Let's go. Can I just stay back and heal? Can I make a build where I just stay back and heal the minions? That kind of really reduces the dynamic gameplay, but it seems like I could pull it off and be successful. Oh, who am I kidding? I haven't even been successful yet. I only make it 12 minutes. It's also really fun swinging the seat at things. So, I don't know why I would want to stay back and heal when I could hit them. But my healing power is incredible now compared to the other runs. Maybe I can use this fighter guy that I have been neglecting thus far going for the damage dealer. This one more of a tank. He's got a shield there. Maybe I can rock him because I can actually keep him alive now. And the lesser minions are reaping the benefit as well doing less resurrecting. Interesting. I'm still feeling confident. Look at the shards I'm getting. Shards are going up. We're playing. The game has begun now. Just spam that number two button. That's how you win. Number one button also good, but number two button better some resurrecting I think some fast resing some ton of healing wow look at the damage he's taking so much I did keep him alive though maybe I don't know maybe I do want the damage dealer still because that thing did a lot of damage don't mind me just just healing slamming the ground down Get out of here with that teleport. I don't know. Am I am I doing this wrong? Should I put my talent points into the other side of the tree and go for the resurrection speed and the healing? Kind of seems like it's better. 
I, I'm just the pawn. I thought I was in control of these minions, but I'm really just a puppet. It's the minions that are better. Please don't die. Stay alive. Stay with me. Got another heal. I don't know. This seems easier. Seems better. This is the one I have, right? Tank? Do I want to stick with the tank? Hmm. Let's stick with the tank. Let's stick with the tank this run. Just see, see how it goes. Now he's got two levels, so I feel like we're stuck. Our fate is sealed at this point. We're sticking with the tank. All right, we will see what happens next time. Very fun game. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.